If you're using Arrangement View and using guide cues for tracks, you need to check out this tutorial because I'm gonna show you how to set up what I call a dynamic guide cue so that your guide cue reflects the name of the section you are repeating. Now, if you've ever used cues, guide cues, slate tracks, whatever you want to call them in Ableton Live, and you try to repeat, you understand the problem. Let me let me show you the problem I'm talking about. Uh, if we're in Ableton Live here, let's let's uh, say we're in this verse section. Let's repeat our verse, okay? I've set up what I call a repeat track, and once this clip hits, it's going to hit Chorus. and repeat our verse. But what's the problem? You heard, uh, yes, our verse repeated, but you heard the problem is our guide cue very loudly said chorus in a nice accent that I can't do and I shouldn't try to do. Uh, this is great that I can repeat with one button. In fact, I showed you how to do that in a previous tutorial. But if your band's relying on the guide cue to kind of tell you where to go next, this could be a problem. Now, uh, let me be honest with you. The easiest solution to this is just simply to mute your guide cue. Uh, when you're in moments like that, have an MD mic and just say, repeat the verse, right? That's the easiest, simplest way. So if you wanna do that, then do it in this tutorial, don't watch it. But if you wanna be fancy, and um, we all wanna be fancy like Applebee's. And so if that's you, then I'm gonna show you how to create what I call a dynamic guide cue. Now, shout out to multitracks.com because uh, this is the first uh, 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 implementation that I ever saw. I was in Florida, I had just got hired by Multitracks, or maybe I was about to be hired by Multitracks, and they showed me this brand new feature in their playback app where uh, you could select a song section and it would repeat that song section, and as it would, would repeat, you would hear a guide cue that matched that section, and they called it the dynamic guide cue. Um, and so uh, they were the only people that had it at the time, Loop Community since then has implemented that feature. But I always thought, I wonder if I could do this in Ableton Live. And so back then, I, you know, I don't know if I was thinking, maybe I fell asleep and suddenly woke up, but I realized, oh, I can do this in live. And let me walk through step by step, show you how to do that now. So before, uh, the first step to make this happen, we have to have a repeat track. So before in our previous tutorial, I showed you how to set up and create a repeat track. If you wanna see that, click the link in the description of this video. We use the IEC driver to make that happen. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, to be honest. Um, and once you set this up for a song once, then it, it, it carries over every other time, which is great. But I've got my repeat track set up. Uh, I've went ahead, I'm not using a MIDI controller in this case, because I'm just here in the studio. So I clicked on the on off button for my repeat track and I mapped that to R on my keyboard, okay? So effectively to repeat, I would hit R to uh, not repeat, I would uh, press R to disable that. In order to create a dynamic guide cue track, what we're gonna do is create a separate guide cue track, uh, a duplicate guide cue track and add different guide cues in that one, okay? So here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take this guide cue track here, I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna hit duplicate, okay? So that's gonna duplicate and let's rename this. I'll do Command R, there'll be Control R if you're on a PC. And let's kind of stick with our naming convention here, dynamic guide cue, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I need to change the guide cue for this so that whatever section I'm on, that's the guide cue I hear. So in this case, it says verse. I'm gonna go here to intro and I'm gonna drag this over, okay? Now this one's actually right. So verse is gonna stay there. This one is chorus, so I'm gonna drag verse over and that's gonna go there, okay? So now this one is chorus. I'm gonna uh, go up here to chorus. I'm gonna click on it, hold all option and drag to replace that. Okay, so turn, I'll go up here, all option, drag to replace that, okay? Uh, so verse, again, this one works just fine. This one needs to be replaced. So uh, we'll take this, all option, and drag. And I'm gonna do this for the whole song. Now you get the privilege of uh, watching me do this uh, for the entire song. But again, this, this doesn't take long at all. Uh, because you do this once and then it never uh, you never have to do it ever again, which is great. So what you want to do is just walk through and do this for every part of your song. Okay, so there's tag. That would be a weird turnaround, but we'll add that anyway. So there's our tag there. Uh, outro, we'll add this. Then I'm going to hit save. And again, the beauty of this is when I'm using a template and working from a template, when I hit save to this song, uh, it's going to save those guide cues with it. Uh, side note, if you want to use a template to format your song like this to where it's clean, easy, uh, simple to follow, and your tempo and your markers come with it, as well as all this extra special stuff, then head to from studiosage.com slash template and download my completely free tracks template. Okay, now let's get back to it. So we've got our dynamic guide cue added in here. Uh, let's check out our course. Let's listen to the end of this now. Okay, and that's actually, let's turn on uh, our repeat track here so uh, we could practice this. So if we want to repeat at the end of our course, we're going to hear. Tag. 
Okay, so that's definitely not what we wanna do because we hear two different guide cues. But um, if you're watching this and you wanna kind of stretch your brain for a second, pause this, look at this screen and see if you could figure out what we need to do to fix this. Um, it's a pretty simple problem to solve. In fact, I, I found most solutions to problems tend to be the simple solutions or the simplest solution is the best solution. Um, but this is really easy to fix, okay? Wait a second, let's see if you can come up with a solution. Okay, you probably got it. Let me show you what to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to uh, our key mapping. So we could go up here, click key, or do Command K or Control K if we're on a PC. And for dynamic guide queue up here, I'm gonna click on this on off, this track activator button. I'm gonna use the same shortcut that I use for repeat. So look at mine here, it's it's R, right? So I used an R for this. I'm gonna press R for dynamic guide queue. Now, in fact, you can see I messed up because I have caps lock on. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna turn caps lock off and I'm gonna press R there, okay? So right now what I've done is I've used R to stand for repeat. Uh, to basically um, uh, function for both dynamic guide queue and my repeat track, okay? I'm gonna show you the results of this and how it works in just a second. But before I do that, I wanna ask you to consider subscribing. If you like content like this, if you wanna learn how to use Ableton Live in a way that's efficient, flexible, and stable, I post a brand new tutorial every single day at 10 a.m. Central. So hit the subscribe button and enable the bell icon so you see exactly when I go live. Okay, so back to our Ableton Live set. We've assigned R to both of these. Let's hit Command K, Control K if we're on a PC to get out of it. And if we press R, right, we're going to see that we've disabled repeat track in dynamic guide queue. So uh, without those enabled, tag. tag, and we move on to our next one, right, which is great. Now let's enable them, okay, and let's listen to it now. Tag. Yes. Okay, so we're getting closer, right? We, we solved one piece of the puzzle by making it to where when I press R, it's going to turn on my dynamic guide queue. But there's a second piece of the puzzle that we have to solve for. I'll give you a second, see if you can think of it, see if you know how to solve it. I think you do. So let's finish this process out. Let's do Command K and let's click on Guide. We'll do the same exact thing. We're gonna assign it to R. Again, in this case, R is dynamic guide queue. It's a, a guide queue and it's repeat, okay? So we're gonna assign this to all three. We'll hit Command K to get out of this. And then the really important step for this, even though the same uh, button is assigned to all three. So if I press R right now, you can see it turns all of them off. That's definitely not what I want. I wanna to start to where this is set up to where the default state of this is guide is enabled and dynamic guide and my repeat track are disabled, okay? Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna turn this track off and turn this track off. So guide is on, dynamic guide queue is off, repeat track is off. Here's the beauty of this, okay? Let's, let's just let this run and let's leave them off for a second, okay? So it's gonna run, we're gonna hear tag, and then we're gonna automatically go to our tag. Now, what if we want to repeat? Let's jump back. I'm gonna press R, listen to what we hear. Chorus. Chorus, and then we repeat. Now, why in the world did we hear chorus? Because we disabled our guide queue, right? We turned off the track activator for our guide queue. We turned on the track activator for our dy dynamic guide queue, as well as the repeat track. So what's really cool about this, again, this is a one button repeat. So let's go, let's find this turnaround here, okay? So I'm gonna press play. This is a perfect example to me. You're in a turnaround, Turn, it's only two, two measures. Three, four. Okay, but it's gonna repeat. Let's press R this time. Verse. Okay, and then we jump right into our verse. So what I love about this solution is one, it costs nothing. The IEC driver costs absolutely nothing. We've talked about how to set that up in previous tutorials. Um, two, I love that it's really, really simple to do. I do this once, I format my song once, add this content into it, and I never have to touch this song ever again. Third, I love how simple this is to actually use on stage. I, again, I'm not a very smart person. I like simple solutions. The simplest solution to a problem tends to be the best. And in this case, what's really nice about this is if I press R on my keyboard, if I uh, press a button on my MIDI controller, um, it's going to repeat and it's gonna change my guide queue or it's going to not repeat and leave my normal guide queue. So it allows me to be on stage and just let tracks flow, not have to stress about it, not have to think about it, not have to chop my song sections up and, and, and do math to get them to play through. They just play normally, but if I want to interject and to say, hey, let's repeat, no matter what song section I'm on, it will repeat. So again, as a reminder, if you like using Ableton Live on stage, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon so you see exactly when I go live. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.